long time, no talk. How you been these last three weeks trying to keep yourself afloat when you haven't been on the practice field? Yeah, I've been good. Uh, relying on my teammates. Um, you know, we feed off each other as far as energy wise and seeing guys out there competing. Um, just helping out wherever I can help out at as far as taking a step back and putting a different lens on, um, seeing things from a different perspective, just trying to be there for the guys as far as encouragement. And um, obviously it's a tough time during camp as far as the days, as far as the build up. Uh, definitely been hurt just as far as not being out there, but um, I'm excited, man, and you know, feel good. Physically, what were you dealing with and, and how far off are you now? Uh, I just had a couple of things going on. Uh, you know, I'm on a good track, um, you know, winning a day. That's all I could do is take it one day at a time, and you know I say I won again today. Uh, so you know I'm approaching it every day as a as a as a one game season. Uh, so you know each day I'm gonna try to progress, try to take positive strides, and you know I felt like I did that again today. So uh, I'm in a good spot. Is, is it your understanding that you're gonna be good for week one? Oh, yeah, I'd be good. <laughs> when we see you in in warmups and going through drills and stuff and running, are you at full speed there? Are you allowed? Are the coaches saying? go full speed. I mean, I know you're not doing 11 on 11 or anything like that, but are you running full speed at this point? Yeah, I feel good. Like I said, uh, you know, each day I'm taking steps in a positive direction. Uh, what that looks like, I guess, from a different lens. Uh, all I can do is tell you that I feel good and I'm in a good space. What excites you most about this defense, given the fact that you're coming back, Eddie will be back eventually, um, everybody will be out there? Yeah, I mean, I think just the playmakers we have. Um, you know, you, you see different guys making a lot of plays. I think each week is somebody different, uh, whether that's from the D-line, whether that's from, you know, the linebacker position, secondary. I mean, you name it. You know, I, I feel that there's a lot of playmakers around. And, um, you know, we have a lot of trust in one another. And I think that's the thing that excites me the most, that guys take responsibility, talk, guys take accountability, and there's no finger pointing. You know what I mean? And that's what you like to see from a good unit, from a good team. And, uh, you know, I've seen it before, and that's I'm, I'm seeing that here. You know, as far as even the young guys stepping up, Tyreek Stevenson stepping up, making good plays, uh, Big Dak stepping up, making good plays. Um, you know, the the list goes on. Even Zach Pickens, you know, from the first game, you know, you got a sack, and you know, you see different guys stepping in and making plays, and you know, it, it just excites you that your young guys are understanding that this is this is the league now, and you know, they're taking that responsibility, taking that accountability to go out and you know, step up and 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 help this team win. A lot of your teammates have actually credited you for like setting that tone in the room. What does that mean to you, knowing that you have their attention that way? Yeah, I mean, it means a lot. You know, I whatever room I step in, I step in as myself. You know, I don't try to create, you know, this world around me. You know what I'm saying? I just step in as myself, and I think that 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 enough feeds off into other guys. You know, I don't try to be somebody I'm not. I try to be consistent every day, and um, you know. It, it makes me smile, I guess, to to know that guys are saying that. But at the end of the day, you know, that's that's who I am. And I know who I am as a person. And, you know, that allows me to step in any room with confidence, to step in in any room to lead guys. And, um, you know, it got me to this point. It's not going to stop now. I mean, how would you describe the edge that it seemed like it's sharpening amongst the defense? Say it one, 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 how would you two. describe the edge that right. you feel is kind of being sharpened? Yeah, you know, I think it's good, man. And it's, and it's, and it's good to see. Um, you know, I, I've, I'm taking my experience from when I first got here to now and just seeing how guys are communicating, seeing how guys are reacting off one another and seeing, you know, how we're clicking. And, um, I mean, we're still not there yet, you know what I mean? Like, we still have some time, uh, so there's no need to panic, no need to, to worry about things. But, you know, just have that sense of urgency to know that, you know, let's, let's get this thing right. But, I mean, you can see it, you know, even though guys aren't, necessarily in there, we have a couple guys out. I mean, we're still communicating, you know, whether it's walkthroughs, whether it's meetings, whether it's anything, we, we're talking ball. And, you know, I think when you have that type of, you know, dialogue, I think that's good. And, um, you know, obviously it's, it's helping the team out. With, with that in mind, you know, this defense, the starting defense will almost certainly not play as a unit in the preseason at all. Can you just flip the switch on September 10th or, or how – how do you gauge your preparedness to like hit the ground running with, uh, as a unit in a, in an actual game? Yeah, well, I think you know. First off, um, I wouldn't necessarily say flip the switch because you know we, even if that is the case, you know we're we're still taking strides here at practice. So as far as switching, the, uh, flipping the switch, uh, it's not you know like we're just going into it and not prepared as far as you know communicating with one another, getting on the same page with one another. As far as uncontrollable, some things you just can't control. You know, if that's the case, then those are things that we can't control, and those are things that obviously you're going to have to work through. 
Uh, but it just relies, it just goes back on us relying on, you know, the trust factor that we have as far as the practice that we put in, the walkthroughs that we have, the meetings that we have. Uh, so, you know, whether it's extra emphasis towards that, then that's one thing. But, you know, as far as flipping the switch, um, you know, we're, we're professionals, man, and doing what we have to do to be to have our bodies ready, uh, doing what we have to do to make sure we're on one accord, um, you know, that's something that we'll just have to look into when that time's get here. And kind of to, kind of to, to that, to that end, um, do you, are, this this coaching staff seems to put a lot of faith in practice and training camp. Is the practice here any more productive than, like, in Buffalo or whatever? Is this different? Do you feel like the practices are actually more valuable than games in the preseason as, a, as you know, to prepare for the regular season? Yeah, you know, I think every team is obviously different. Um, you know, it's not one team out there that I think does things the exact same way. Um, I am a big believer in you practice how you play as far as, you know, going out and executing, going out, pushing yourself to limits that make the game a little bit easier. Um, so in regards to that, um, it's just about pushing your body. Uh, I think that you can steal extra reps, obviously, in practice and walkthroughs uh, and all those type of things. Um, so as far as, you know, practice goes, I would definitely say, you know, pushing your body and, um, you know, putting yourself in position to make those plays come game time. Uh, it's about visualization. It's about putting yourself in position when this, when this offense runs this play this is the spot that I'm going to be at. And obviously that goes off the field, not just practice. That goes into the mean room. That goes into the walkthroughs. I mean, it's not just one thing. You know what I mean? There's a lot that goes into winning. There's a lot that goes into, you know, obviously being good. There's a lot that goes into making plays. And I think as we continue to make strides and as we continue to, you know, take advantage of those things, you know, obviously you'll see the defense start clicking and you see guys start making plays. What's it been like for you to watch uh, uh, the training room get pretty – get uh, pretty full uh, in the last three weeks. It seems like you're adding a new guy every week. It, it, and can you worry about that two and a half weeks before the season? And, and if not, at what point should people be worried that there's so many guys still not practicing? Uh, I mean, you know, it's, this is my sixth year in, man, and I've seen it. That's that's training camp, you know. Things are going to come up, and I think that's just that's life in the NFL. We, you know, coach preach it. You know, different people preach it across the league. Um, it's kind of like that next man up mentality. And um, – I feel like every position, you know, obviously when when your twos and your threes are turning like they're going to be that guy, that's when you have a, a dynamic team. That's when you have a good team. You know what I mean? And sometimes you find out a lot about yourself, you know, when somebody else have to step in and grow up. Um, obviously, it's a, a situation that you don't necessarily want to be in. But I think when you are in that situation, um, you can find out more about your team, find out more about your depth, find out more about different things that you may have didn't predict, you know, from the start of the season. Chet, how how are you feeling about the, the overall depth that you guys have in your room and, and the ability to have so many different guys with complementary skills? Uh, it's good. I think it's great for the team. Um, a lot of competition in the room, a lot of great guys. Um, I've just been enjoying it. A lot of good, great personalities. Um, we all get along very well. Um, all complement each other. So it's been smooth. What's the, what's the biggest test to kind of trying to carve out your niche when you know there's going to be a lot of shared workload? Do what I gotta do. Are you the kind of guy who did you like the work Saturday? Uh, does, does playing in preseason games do anything for you to get you ready? Uh, I mean, of course, when you're out there, take advantage of the opportunities. Uh, but I mean, I feel like in the two preseason games that I played in, I didn't really play that much. So, I mean, I don't really, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I could get a, a really great evaluation of like anything. Like I played maybe a total of. I don't know, 17 plays in the two games I played. So I like, yeah. Yeah, no, we've seen you catch the ball out of the backfield quite a bit this summer, which wasn't really something you did a lot in Carolina, right? So do you think, is that like an untapped part of your game that you think you can bring to Chicago that maybe you weren't before? For sure, for sure. Um, I think catching the ball is kind of like second nature to me, but I think just with my roles that I've been in, um, just never really been asked to do it much. Even in college, they didn't really ask me to do it much. But, um, I mean, I'm very confident in what I can do catching the ball out the backfield and, you know, me making a play. Just something that I haven't been asked to do much. How do you think that can change? Like, you as a, like a more complete player catching the yeah. ball? Um, I mean, it's just something that, I mean, I just got to continue to show, continue to continue to just do it, you know. Whenever I'm in those positions to make the play and, you know, the ball comes to me, just, you know, continue to make those catches and, you know, make plays when I do. 
you never want to see somebody go down like you had last year in Carolina, but when you get that opportunity, what did that mean to you and to your career, getting the bulk of carries you did, the, the production you had there? Um, I mean, I just felt like at that time it was my moment to show the world what I could really be, what I could really do. Um, and I feel like uh, to a certain degree I was able to do that. Um, I mean, you know, basically coming in half a season and almost rushing for 1,000 yards, I think that's uh, – that was just a credit to, you know, the whole line and, you know, and then my hard work that I've been putting in and just everything that I've kind of, you know, worked hard for, um, you know. So I just – it was a great opportunity, and I feel like I just tried to take advantage of the moment. What do you feel like you've you've proven in the last couple of years that you've gotten more of an opportunity and now as you arrive here to the Bears? Yeah. Um, I mean, that I could either uh, carry the load or I could be compliment guys. I mean, I feel like no matter what, uh, whatever role I'm in, I feel like I'm going to excel at it, you know, regardless. Like, I don't – I mean, even – like, I don't know. I just look at it through my whole life, whether I had – whether I was a guy, whether I was, you know, in a rotation, I, I always was able to, you know, you know, do what I need to do and make my play. So it's like I don't even really think about it that much. It's just, you know, when my numbers call, I go out there and be effective. As you've gotten to know uh, Roshan a little bit better, what stands out to you about the way he works? Great place. He had a great work ethic, a uh, great, great dude. Um, you know, I know we went to the same school, but, you know, I was going before he got there. So just kind of getting to know him and just see what he's about, like, as a person, you know. I really I really enjoy the person, uh, Roshan. But also the football player, same thing, you know, works hard, runs hard. Uh, you know, just a real-rounded guy, period, you know. So really enjoy being around him and just, uh, you know, just seeing, you know, that uh, you know, everything that people said about him, you know, Coming out of Texas, you know, he, he's the same guy. You've been doing this for a while. Can you remember a team being as banged up as you guys are in the preseason? Uh, Yeah, a couple of teams. Uh, but I think it'll be fine. You know, I think, you know, uh, around the teams that I've been on, I've kind of seen these situations happen. But, you know, they always, you know, roll back around and things things end up being pretty you fun. You practice and see just the sheer volume of guys not playing, not participating. Is it hard to not worry about it? I mean, definitely. I mean, yeah, of course, you know. Um, but, you know, those – I mean, I see the guy, the work that those guys put in, you know, on a daily basis, even though they're not on the field. I see the hard work that they're doing off the field. So, you know, I mean, very hopeful, and, you know, that those guys will be ready to go when it's time to go. How aware are you of the pecking order in the running back room? Like, you know, you got Herbert doing well and Roshan, you know, they love him. Uh, are you – is there any concern that you might not get the role – uh, that you envision when you sign here, you know, because of the way they get spread up, spread up. I mean, just my humble opinion. I think, uh, like I said before, uh, I just don't. I don't feel like I've really played a lot in the preseason. So I think a lot of stuff that people say or see. I mean, I just don't think they've seen enough of really what I can do. I mean, you have to go back and really watch me from last year to see, you know, re me really be effective. You know, I think. Playing in, playing in the two preseason games I played in, I probably got the ball maybe seven times, maybe just total. So it's like, I mean, you know, okay. But I think uh, what I bring to the table, I think my teammates and my and my coaching staff they know that. DQ, as we head towards the preseason finale, where do you feel like this offense is in in continuity, in kind of chemistry, where you guys are at right now? Uh, I think we're in a good spot, uh, much better than last year, that's for sure. Uh, I'm excited to see um, you know how the next game goes, but. Um, I think first two games we done well, and uh, yeah, we're we're in a good spot. I'd say. What gives you the most confidence about what do you see? Um, I'll just say as a unit. Well, I can speak for the offense. Uh, we've gelled a lot. Um, confidence has grown since it's our second year together, with the coaching staff and as a team. So, um, I'll say just putting in time and practice, and you know, being together for a whole year so far. You've gotten some reps with Tyson Bajan. From your perspective, you know, as a vet. What are your impressions of his handle of the offense, how he's handling training camp, et cetera, et cetera, as an undrafted free agent from a D2 school? Yeah, uh, I'm, re I'm really impressed with him. Um, when he's in the huddle, he, you know, he's real clear and articulate with the play calls. He seems real calm, you know, when he's in the pocket back there. You would have ne never guessed this is rookie year, but, yeah, I'm really impressed with him. You've gone from uh, being a part of the, of the rotation last year to maybe dive that chart and then back up because of all the injuries. Where are you and how's this entire process been from uh, having guys added and all that? Uh, I mean, I always keep the same uh, mindset. 
um, they're coming every year, uh, train hard in the offseason, come in, ball out, do the best I can, and then, you know, help the team win. As the injuries mount up at practice, do you guys, like, look around and be like, who do we got out here, what's going on? Like, what's going through your head as, as guys just continue to? Um, sometimes when practice gets a little harder, you're looking around, like, with the reps, but um, it's football, you know, people go down, they need some time off, so you got to step up and, you know, cut, uh, take some slack off some players that need some time off to get their bodies right, so. Yeah, it's part of the game. When Cole goes down today, is that, is that concerning? Uh, I don't even know what happened, to be honest. I haven't even time to yeah, talk to him yet. Does it feel like you guys are a little more banged up than usual for this time of year? Um, I don't remember how it was last year. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know.